goddamn coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself. Drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then, my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank, he could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Well, if that's it, 
You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations! Yeah! 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, to be, be my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold you from this day for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Oh! What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please. Don't cough her. Give her air. Damn. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau. When they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. So, son, care to tell me what Arnel, to do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid matter into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. 
I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Ah, oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. Maybe we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Irmak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she is so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, what is the jury's verdict? <laughs> now here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yalantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. To you! To, to you! you. Yeah! Will you play that song? Oh, About us. Be too strong. Easy oh. as pie. Great. Полковник Васил приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И где те сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне. Некуда больше бежать Эта земля была нашей Пока мы не увязли в борьбе Она умрет, если будет ничьей Пора вернуть эту землю себе А кругом горят факелы Это сбор всех погибших частей И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов Строят планы на наших детей Нас рожали под звуки маршей, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит 
ползать на брюхе мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. We're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with your brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. To, to children. children. So smooth. <clears throat> One more toast <sighs> to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. Oh, this is good. Hooray! To the, to new, the new colony! colony. Oh, and there's oh, more like women, women joining. Alyosha, <laughs> <laughs> I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Yeah. Whoa, son!
Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Alma is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. Scott, your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You've got to run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear! Ah, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves! I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You sure have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened. Ah, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Both legs went to sleep. Can't even move now. Uh, I'll wait here till they wake up and go bring the boys. Uh, we have a good chance to get a drop on them forest fuckers now. We'll tear them apart like fucking rags. Uh. Just look, man. Tell me, which barrack are you from after all? I thought I knew everyone. Are you leaving from our camp? Fast! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a good doggy and get lost! Ha 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 ha! already. Nobody came for the kids. The King and Tusha aren't coming back either. The dam workers told they'd give them the lift to the city, but I should have used my authority to stop them from trying. But back then, I still harbored hopes for evacuation too. Vain hopes, as I understand now, for what evacuation could be expected there's only static on air. Help is not coming. Then again, do we even need help? Our valley was apparently not a target at all. Even the fallout seemed to have spared us. The counter gives me an all-green reading, even directly under the drain pipes. The children are well prepared. All that time hiking was spent well. It will be easy to teach them hunting. We have all the necessities, and what we don't have, we can make ourselves. To hell with doubt, let's tackle problems as they arise. Survival comes first.
Look, I've been thinking about asking you all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post. Do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guides caught a drift of the day. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really. So, what's up? Nah, nothing. All right, I guess I'll go. Alyosha, come in. <laughs> we'll keep trying to contact you.
All right, let's cut the rope and take him to the camp with the first one. Hey, wait a minute. You pioneers already have one, and this is our catch. He got caught on our turf. The net is mine, so bite me. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you set the trap on our turf, then? Uh, besides, you already have an intruder's backpack. I dived for the backpack, and you chickened out. Oh, I chickened out? You're pirates! You have more boats! And this one will face the forest court. Bojumoy, you're all cowards. He's an intruder, an enemy. What are you, a bandit? What did the teacher say? He said we must be different. Did you uh, forget? Isn't your head getting a bit too big? The teacher said we have to defend ourselves first. All the rest was later. Did you forget what the intruders would do here? He's an intruder too, so he must die before he brings the others. Enough! The forest court comes first. The court will decide if we kill him. <laughs> So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Well, shoot me. Or scram. I gotta get ready. For the final exam, tell the teacher. I defended ours, didn't chicken out, didn't bully the girls. Teacher, I'm here.
if you continue like that.
Freeze, Drifter! So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the Master of the Forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it! Sorry, teacher. The locks all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher.
your tongue so you can't knock on the door anymore eh as the teacher said courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals wait a moment you're not one of ours a bandit then don't look like one though you never know with them bandits different shit every day am i right or what senya you're always right admiral sir uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, Bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, uh, quit your yapping. Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind them. To our meeting. That's a good tea. The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! 
Radiation, my ass. Radiation. Just look at us. Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be. <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left. We're all cowards. forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that. Don't you now? Yes, he was here. I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot. And the other ground-loving rats, too. They all forgot. We're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it. My boys do remember. And those don't. You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, the girls say, teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out. Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who they rats. are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher, or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. <sighs> Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed Ludmila to the dam. They were going to take the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound. Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes, my boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. And had I not brewed, Mighty, extra, super strong that day. You would have. 
No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar! Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir, an instrument. What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty to coming hell with up. Her. To hell. You're all ground loving rats. Rats. <laughs> Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Straw, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness. And Solve your marital problems. <laughs> this smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore.
Guillaume? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. <laughs> Here are the counter-react. There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well... See that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. <laughs> we gotta hurry! I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom! That is a lot of dirt! Man, I gotta tell you, I met this awesome girl here. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Name's Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. <laughs> she was so smitten. She even walked with me. And, you know, this is something new for me. I hate it to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. I can't believe them all. She's so strong. So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I all hope for sleep all those times. Norman. 
this beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, the hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like you! we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. <clears throat> Come! 